Commencement 2018 celebrates CSU Global graduates stepping into the future, further down the road to success. As we look back with pride and look forward with courage, today is one moment to remember. With this accomplishment, graduates have the power to use their degrees in the journey ahead. CSU Global is a proud partner in lifelong learning, now and into the future. As our students evolve in their careers and lives, we celebrate with them. Commencement 2018 honors our graduates and the university family they are a part of in our first ever fully virtual commencement ceremony. Colorado State University Global Campus is the first and only 100% online, fully accredited public university in the United States. The university designs programs to fit our students' life, not the other way around. At CSU Global, our mission is to serve non-traditional students and help support education, not only in the state of Colorado, but beyond. CSU Global offers a superior return on investment with an affordable, career-relevant education and ample resources, such as one-on-one -on -one career coaching that will help students secure the jobs of tomorrow. I feel like this means a very big accomplishment, especially coming from like an Indian family. No one has graduated in my family, so I'm the first one to do so. Well, I encourage veterans or anybody to go back to school. Um, the networking is amazing. Uh, the teachers that you encounter, the things you learn, it's definitely helpful and beneficial. So it's been a great experience overall. Focused on career-relevant education, CSU Global measures its performance on our students' workplace success through salary growth or the ability to change careers. In a 2017 economic impact study, research showed that for every dollar modern learners spend on their CSU Global education, they see a return of $4 in earnings, proving that the modern learner's investment in their CSU Global education is an investment in themselves. Innovative faculty and staff are driving student success from virtual classrooms and digital interactions from across the globe. Since we commenced our first academic term with only 208 students in 2008, CSU Global has continued to be a leader in innovative higher education. With our focus on advancing non-traditional students in their careers, we've grown exponentially to more than 19,000 students. Welcome to Commencement 2018. Hello, and welcome to today's commencement ceremony. I'm Andy Dixon, Assistant Vice President of Marketing and Communications at Colorado State University Global Campus. And it's my distinct pleasure today to serve as your Master of Ceremonies. We're live from CSU Global Headquarters in Greenwood Village, Colorado right now. And as a 100% online state university dedicated to ensuring your education is personalized to your success and fits to, meet, to fit into your busy lives, it only made sense to try something a little different and offer you our first ever fully virtual commencement ceremony. Let me begin today by explaining how you as our graduates, families and friends can engage with us throughout the ceremony uh, to make the most out of today. All this information is available at csuglobal.edu slash commencement 2018 in case you miss any of it. If you're experiencing any technical issues, use the Q&A feature at the bottom of your screen and one of our support staff will help troubleshoot what issues you might be having. Closed captioning is also available for those who need it at the bottom of the screen. Next, you'll see a chat box in the control panel. And you'll feel free to introduce yourself here and use that to get to know each other, congratulate your graduates, however you'd like to engage. Just make sure you select all panelists and, and attendees so everyone can see your message. Finally, we encourage you to join the conversation and congratulate graduates and each other using the social media hashtag stepforward18. You can visit csuglobal.edu slash commencement2018 to see what everyone is sharing. We especially want you to share pictures of where you're viewing with, who you're viewing from, and, and just what kind of event you're having, from, because we have graduates from all over the US and in fact the world. While we do encourage you to share this experience in all of these different ways, we do ask that you remain respectful and appropriate, and we reserve the right to remove anything that's not in the spirit of the ceremony. If you'd like to download a copy of today's program with a list of all graduates, a link can be found on the same website I mentioned above, 
csuglobal.edu slash commencement 2018, and it's at the bottom of the page. You can also order printed programs, um, and those will be available now until, 20, until the 21st, excuse me, so place your orders there, and the link to that form has been posted in the chat section of the webinar shortly. We're also excited that we've arranged a couple of short look-ins so we can really see where graduates are experiencing this event from, uh, from around the country. So before we officially begin, I thought we could just check in with Christina McCravey, who's one of our graduates joining us today. Christina, welcome, are you there? There, I unmuted you. Let's try again, uh, hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you today? Doing good. Thanks for joining us today. Can you tell us where you're watching from and who's there watching which watching with you? I'm in Lubbock, Texas, and my husband and son are watching with me. We had a viewing party planned, but it snowed here, so many weren't able to make it. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you, you were mentioning earlier that you had like 10 inches of snow, which is a lot. Yes. Yes. My uh, parents weren't able to dig out to make it to my house for the viewing party, but they're watching, hi, mom and dad. <laughs> I guess that's the advantage of a virtual ceremony, at least, right? They still yes. participate in one way or another. So, Very true. Um, so what, what motivated you to complete your degree? What brought you here today? When I first started completing my degree, it was because I wanted to get a better job. And then as I continued, I found that I really enjoyed learning. I'm actually going to continue my education journey to getting my master's degree with you. Well, congrats. We'll see you here Thank in another you. couple of years then. So. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anyone in particular you'd like to call out and say thank you for helping you get to this point? I thought a lot about who I'd like to thank. And I mean, it really was everyone, all of my family by motivating me or watching my son if I was <laughs> needing some time to study or my bosses. Um, they were also very supportive and let me have the afternoon off if I needed it to finish a project. So it really, it took a village and I'm thankful for everyone. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, we're very excited to have you here today. Congrats on earning your degree and we hope you enjoy the rest of the ceremony. Thanks. And now we can officially begin our ceremony. Again, we encourage you to share your own story about where you're doing, say thank you to those who does it through social. This is really about you as our graduates today. So please feel free to use the chat, social media, any way to say thanks or congratulations, however you'd like to do it with your family and friends. Um, but to officially start our ceremony, we'd like to do it how we start any ceremony, with the singing of our national anthem. Today's rendition was performed and recorded by CSU Global's training and quality assurance manager, Amber Parrish. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the Thank you, Amber, for that wonderful rendition. Welcome. It is truly an amazing experience to be with you all today to celebrate the accomplishments of our graduates in a very CSU Global way. Connecting through technology so that we can all celebrate together makes today's event very special. I would like to thank the CSU system and the Board of Governors and the CSU Global staff and faculty for their continued support and dedicated hard work towards facilitating our students' success. 
also like to especially recognize our veterans, active military, and their family members. We thank you for your dedicated service in protecting our country and our freedom. We are deeply grateful for your sacrifices. And finally, graduates, congratulations. I'll share more thoughts with you later as the keynote for today's ceremony. But before we continue, you now have the opportunity to thank all of your family members and friends who have helped you reach this monumental accomplishment. We have received a number of videos of gratitude from our graduates that we will now share. And while those run, I encourage you to personally thank those that have supported you during your degree journey. You can do that in the comment section found near the bottom of your screen. My name is Jill Crumpus from Minnesota. I'd like to thank my mom and dad for always showing me that a hard work ethic pays off. I'd like to thank my husband who made it through this with me through deployment, pregnancy, buying a house, and marriage. I would also like to thank our children and my husband for being there for me while I had classes and homework to do. Wouldn't have been able to do it without you. And lastly, my advisor, Amber Manneth, who was amazing. Thanks. Hey everyone, this is Hardy Bora. Just wrapped up uh, my master's degree at CSU Global and I wanted to take a minute to thank everybody that was involved um, along the way to, to help me and guide me and support me um, when I needed it most. So uh, Kimberly, Maya, and Milan, my kids, uh, my wife, I love you guys. Um, my parents, Manoj and Marsha, uh, my in-laws, Gary and Tina, and all the other people that, that played such a big role in, in helping me complete this big part of my life. Thank you for everything that you've done. Um, love you, onward and upward. I would like to thank my husband, Greg, for all his love, support, and motivation, not only in these past two years for me to get this degree, but during our entire 15-year relationship. He is my rock, and when I feel I can't do something, he's always there to lift me up and get me through it. He was taking our three kids to the park so I could do homework. Sweetie, I love you. Thank you. I couldn't have done it without you. I love you. I would like to thank my family who taught me to believe in myself no matter how long it takes a dream to come true. I would like to thank the faculty of the project management department whose instruction far exceeded my expectations and have laid a firm foundation for a successful career which for me begins in January at a leading utility company in California. I would like to thank Rudy Lee Gable whose encouragement and support got me through statistics and I would like to thank CSU Global for this opportunity and all the tools I needed to complete my degree. Thank you. Hello, I just want to thank my family, friends, and loved ones. I want to give a special thank you to my daughter, to my mom, Gail, to my dad, Charles, and to my aunt, Doris, and my cousin, Audrey. They have all been very instrumental in helping me along this journey. They have continued to encourage me and give me um, great words of encouragement and wisdom. Thank you again. I love you all. I have been working towards this degree for over a decade now. I want to thank everyone who both directly and indirectly helped me obtain it. My husband has been tremendous at occupying our toddlers on those nights I had to get schoolwork done, and my mom took my son on the weekends to give us both a break, and was always there when I needed help getting unstuck on a paper. Allie, you helped me review almost every single paper I ever wrote, and read my textbooks to me to help me retain information. If it wasn't for you guys and a whole bunch of other people, I wouldn't be here today. First, I need to mention my student advisor, for without him, there's a great chance I would not have been able to graduate. Thank you, Kyle Newhouse, for going to bat for me. My parents and in-laws have always supported me. Thank you for believing in me, Mom, Dad, Chuck, Irma, and Karen. I really need to call out my wife, Elisa, for without her, I would have never found the confidence to continue this journey. This year, I finally get to walk for our graduation ceremony. I get to walk in the presence of the people who have most supported and loved me my wife and kids. My success to graduate does not just belong to me, it belongs to them as well. Happy graduation to all my classmates. This is Jia Wen. I'm graduating with my BA in Business and Accounting. I want to thank my husband for his undying support and love. I want to thank my parents for letting me chase my dream. I want to thank all my husband's family for their support, love and friendship. And lastly, I want to thank all my instructors and all my classmates. 祝贺你们顺利毕业, happy graduation! Hello from Ann Arbor, Michigan. I'm Amanda, and I have to say thank you to my amazing husband, Brad, for being so supportive over the last two years while I finished my degree at CSU Global. 
Brad, thank you. I love you. I could not have done this without your ongoing encouragement. Congratulations to all of my fellow graduates. I hope you're so proud of yourself. Congratulations and best of luck. Bye. Thank you, Dr. Takeda Tinker, and thank you to all of our graduates who submitted thank you videos. We received quite the outpour of response. To view all of the submitted videos, you can visit csuglobal.edu slash thank you videos. But don't go there yet, as we're still here live and we want to continue celebrating our graduates with a student speaker for today. Paul Gallion is graduating with his master's degree in information technology management today, and he joins us from his home in Elk Grove, California. Unfortunately, Paul came down with a case of laryngitis this week and is unav unavailable to read a speech himself. CSU Global Associate Director of Marketing Communications, Enoch Fredericks, will be reading Paul's speech on his behalf. To President Dr. Becky Takeda Tinker, the Board of Governors of the Colorado State University System, distinguished guests, and the faculty and staff of Colorado State University Global Campus, I say thank you for allowing me to speak today on this monumental occasion. To the graduating class of 2018, I say congratulations, we finally made it. To the friends and family of the graduates that have tuned in to watch this commencement, I offer my congratulations and extend a sincere thank you for seeing your graduates all the way through by witnessing the end of their current educational journeys. When thinking about stepping into the future, I wondered what the contextual meaning of what stepping into the future really meant. I've heard time and time again that all forward progress starts with the first initial step and how important that step is to take. Without that step, we are motionless, we are still. While in this state, the world around us is moving by creating events and experiences. The only way to change this motionless state is to take a step in any direction. We become part of something bigger. We are no longer spectators. We become actively involved in the game of life. We have heard that taking the initial step is hard, but why? It's hard because it forces us out of our comfort zone to aspire to be something different. It is the journey into the unknown. It's a direction we are willing to traverse with full knowledge of the risks and challenges ahead, but seeing the reward at the end of the journey. One of the biggest steps we all took was to pursue higher education. Think back to when you first decided to pursue a degree from CSU Global. Which thoughts and ideas drove you to this decision? Now, on top of these motivations were risks and the unknown. Balancing work and school life, taking care of your family while in school, staying up late to complete assignments. Regardless of the long lists of motivations and risks, we all took the initial step and enrolled. Think back to that person you were when you first enrolled and look at yourself today. Think of all the analytical and research skills and all the knowledge you gained up to this exact moment. Take note of how much you have gained since you took that big initial step. So then the question becomes, what now? What should we do before we take our next step into the future? Well, there are a few things we must consider before we take the next step. First and foremost, this establishment is a foundation for education. It's a broad base for us to use as a springboard to formulate ideas, promote critical thinking, analyze situations, and innovate change. One of my favorite inspirations and comedic personalities is Mr. Steve Martin. In his autobiography, Born Standing Up, he has this wonderful quote in which he says, you will eventually use everything you've learned. This statement couldn't be any truer, as our educational journeys have required several lessons, skills, and knowledge we acquired over several years of education and experience to answer some of the more challenging and complex assignments. Remember what you have learned in this establishment and use it appropriately when necessary in your later stages of life. What about the fears and uncertainty out there in the future? How do you prepare yourself for the potential to fail? Easy. Allow yourself to fail. Be willing to be wrong and make mistakes. Figure out why you failed and move on. Don't dwell on all the other choices you could have made or make excuses. Own up to your mistakes and add those moments into your repertoire of experience. Finally, remember you have plenty of time. It's okay to start your career later in life or start your educational journey later than everyone else. Look at your 18-year-old self and think about what college would be like and where you thought you'd be at the age you are now. I'm going to guess that things didn't occur the way that you expected. 
but you're here now. Your presence here today reflects the amount of tenacity and determination you had to see a goal through to completion, and for that you should be proud of yourselves. Allow yourselves room for growth and not to worry about the little things. I think Dr. Seuss summed it up perfectly by stating, Life's too short to wake up with regrets, so love the people who treat you right, forgive the ones who don't, and believe that everything happens for a reason. If you get a chance, take it. If it changes your life, let it. Nobody said it'd be easy. They just promised it'd be worth it. Today, it's time to take another step. Today, surrounded by our family and friends, we take this step with the foundational education we gained over the past few years. There are still risks, but there are endless possibilities and opportunities out there. Before taking that step, look at yourself from high school, the years in between, the experiences and lessons learned at CSU Global. Now, look forward, acknowledge all the risks, knowing that you have your family and friends supporting you along with your experience. Carry all of that on your back. Keep your head held high and take that step. Propel yourself into the future and continue moving forward. Thank you. Thank you, Enoch, for your reading, and thank you, Paul, for your speech. Congratulations on earning your degree, Paul, and we wish you a very speedy recovery. Dr. Becky Takeda Tinker will be presenting today's keynote. As the president and CEO of Colorado State University Global Campus, Dr. Takeda Tinker blends her passion for education with her experience of nonprofit governance and over 20 years of business leadership. Dr. Becky started working with CSU Global as a faculty member and then became academic dean before she was selected as the university's first president. Named one of five education, higher education leaders to watch in 2018, and author of the book, Impacting the Future of Higher Education, Dr. Takeda Tinker champions data-driven and technology-based solutions to facilitate learner educational success, retention, and workplace employment. Her earlier work in private equity and as an entrepreneur has equipped her with the skills and ability to understand the multiple dimensions of today's competitive and technological landscape. Becky currently serves as a board member for the State of Colorado Governor's Small Business Council and Hazleton Construction, and as a peer reviewer and chair for the Higher Learning Commission. Please join me in welcoming again Dr. Becky Takeda. This year marks CSU Global's 10th year of service to students. Back in 2008, we envisioned that CSU Global could help adult working modern students accomplish personal, academic, and professional success in new ways that recognized and accommodated their non-traditional student needs. Today, because of you and our graduates and their family members and friends, our over 17,000 alumni and our staff and faculty, CSU Global is recognized around the world as the premier provider of fully online education. As president of CSU Global, I thank you for the opportunity to serve and to have a lasting impact on your futures. I sat down several times to work on my speech today, and I soon realized that the list of things I wanted to share with you was epic. Fortunately for everyone gathered here, the commencement committee reminded me that I had about six minutes. So I have honed all of my thoughts into just one of them, which takes us to a personal story. My father was first in his family to attend a university, and he was quite successful in his career. So as I approached my bachelor's degree completion, I asked him what I should do with my degree. My dad paused and looked intently at me, and he said, be happy. I didn't think that the answer could be that simple, so I asked him again, and he said the same thing. My dad is not someone you repeatedly question, so I then thought to myself that it was such a low bar for success that even if I didn't really understand what he meant, it was certainly achievable, so I took the advice. Over the years, I have continued to draw upon his wisdom as I have encountered crossroads in my life. When choosing between options, I considered what would make me the happiest and opted for that path. That thinking has led me to jobs that paid a lot, jobs that paid a little, community service that was impactful, and relationships that showed me different aspects of humanity. Paths which sometimes provided great challenges, but which all led to great rewards of personal satisfaction. I recently read a book in which the writer Arthur Brooks highlighted that the Declaration of Independence grants the right to the pursuit of happiness. Given my father's advice and then this historic reference, 
I was curious about how happiness is actually defined. In other words, I think I'm happy, but am I really happy? It turns out that being happy is a measurable, researchable thing. Studies on happiness have found that some people are just naturally happier than others, and that people who have strong social connections are happier than those that don't. Research also found that people who are satisfied with their lives and have meaningful work score higher on the happiness scale. To better understand the happiness research, I also looked up the definition of meaningful work. It is defined as work that adds value to our lives and in the lives of others. Value that is acknowledged and rewarded through a personal sense of achievement, or through the excitement of innovative effort, and even the mind's engagement in new journeys and experiences. As students, and now graduates of CSU Global, I'm not sure if you felt particularly happy during your journey of working on your critical thinking assignments or editing your papers for APA style, but I hope that after you've had some time away from the rigors of the coursework, that you favorably recall the memories of learning and self-discovery. I also hope that the relationships formed during your time with us carry through into your futures as they too can add to your feelings of happiness. Moving forward from today, we see that the world will be increasingly more dynamic, diverse, and technology driven. In fact, McKinsey Research predicts that in just over a decade from now, between 400 to 800 million jobs around the world could be lost due to automation. Now, I don't share that data and information with you to scare you. Quite the contrary. Faced with that projection, I am doubling down. I am confident that backed with your CSU Global degree and your demonstrated courage, tenacity, and ability to learn, that you are equipped to readily fill jobs into the future. My caveat, however, is that in choosing what makes you happy in work and in life will be key to your success. That level of engagement will keep you learning, growing, and adapting to whatever life, the world, and technology present. And so I close with four thoughts. One, as passed down from my father and based on the information I shared today with you about happiness, my wish for all of you is that you pursue happiness. Two, now that you're equipped for success and from today have some knowledge about human happiness gained from social connections and meaningful work, I hope that when the opportunity presents itself that you can help someone with a job or career so that he or she can also enjoy the pursuit of happiness, all while adding to your own feelings of achievement and satisfaction. And three, I want you to know that it has brought me immeasurable happiness to lead the creation of CSU Global's foundation. I am grateful for the very dedicated staff and faculty of the university who have ensured the success of the institution and, most importantly, the futures of our graduates. Thank you for the last decade of achievement, innovation, and satisfaction from truly meaningful work. It has been such a wonderful journey filled with much happiness. And finally, and in closing, I wish for you that your futures be blessed and filled with amazing experiences and that they be happy. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Takeda Tinker, excuse me, for your inspiring words. It is now my honor to introduce Jane Rob Rhodes from the Colorado State University System Board of Governors to make a few remarks and begin the conferral of degrees. On behalf of the Colorado State University System Board of Governors, it is truly an honor to be a part of today to celebrate your accomplishments as new CSU Global graduates. I have been fortunate enough to be a part of quite a few commencement ceremonies in the past, but I will say that this one stands out as unique, as it is the first fully online ceremony that I have had the pleasure of participating in. It is fitting that it is coming from CSU Global, a university that I am proud to say continues to stay on the cutting edge of delivering the best possible educational experiences for you, its students, and now graduates. We are grateful that you have chosen to study and earn your degree with our school and are thrilled to be able to welcome you as alumni of CSU Global and the CSU System. And now, on behalf of the Colorado State University System Board of Governors, Dr. Takeda Tinker, 
I hereby authorize you to confer the recommended degrees upon these candidates. Congratulations. Thank you, Governor Rob Rose. We will now proceed to the degree conferral, beginning with candidates for bachelor's degrees and then continuing on with our candidates for master's degrees. Helping me read our graduates' names today are Eric O'Neill and Lauren Galena from CSU Global's Community Engagement Team. We will now do our best to pronounce your names correctly. Friends and family, unlike a traditional ceremony where you're encouraged to hold your applause to the end, we encourage you to cheer loudly wherever you might be. And of course, send messages to congratulate your graduates using the chat section and on social media using the hashtag stepforward18. Names will be read in alphabetical order and by degree program. And a slide with your name of, and of your program will be shown at that time. It will also include any pictures that were submitted us, to us as part of registration and any thank yous at that point as well. We will now recognize our bachelor's degree candidates, starting with graduates in our bachelor's of science in accounting. Joseph Bag. Jessica Bauer. Crystal Benning. Danielle Bentley. Yelena Berge. Whitney Braun. Krista Butts. Stefan Chambers. Michelle Chastain. Rachel Chavez. David Couch. Jeffrey Crosby. Karen Curtis Ray. Sarah Derner. Stephen Ferenzi. Melissa Getzinger. Jacqueline Gray. Catherine Harvey. Casey Henry. Crystal Hill Robinson. Christopher Holloway. Sarah Johnson. Jessica Klopel. Oyenbold Leeser. Nelsi Aguilera Lopez. Sharia Lorcas. Kara McDonald. Donna Mack. Lisa Medivire. Shaughnessy Noble. Tori Parsons. Kate Phillips. Raquel Ponce de Leon. Nathan Rosa. Emily Sachs. Brett Sand. Craig Schneider. Tamara Scott. Stanley Short. Vicki Singleton. Emily Aaron Smith. April Roybal. 
Randy Stevens. Suzanne Tangoria. Allison Trevino. Alnand Urandetta Rosario. Beth Walters. Tammy Webb. Bachelors of Science in Applied Social Sciences. Roberto Camacho. Jane Cunningham. Marianne Jacoby. Erica Miller. Stuart Music. Jacqueline San Nicolas. Bishwojit Sharma. Susan Simmons. Bachelor of Science in Business Management. Julian Amaker II. Rebecca Archuleta. Samuel Ayala. Krista Baptist. Renee S. Barrett. Christine Bittler. James Cardi. Jesus Salas. Chevelle Claflin. Kara Cunningham. Sabrina DeSalas. Ronnie Brian Drope. Morgan Duff. Adam Esch. Brent Fulmer. Sarah Garcia. Jeffrey Gilkerson. Chelaney Glover. Kelly Gonzalez. Nina Gonzalez Curry. Carissa Gordy. Ryan Gould. Nathan Green. Natalie Hackett. Sabrina Hageman. Stephanie Hall. Samuel Hammond the Fourth. Kevin Harms. Nicole Hay. Rivers Harrington. William Huffman. Vanessa Iano. Kelly Jones. Corey Kemplin. Kyle G. Kesser. Danielle Crum. Roger Laurie.
Sarah Lawson. Jennifer Lewis. Eric Lynn. Jawen Liu. Andrew Merritt. Nicanor Mijares. Marco Nahira Garcia. Sofia Paganini. Jillian Pichicuto. Heather Pruitt. Andrew Purdy. Gwen Reeves. Andrew Rickle. Erina Riley. Sandra Royal Royal Reyes. Kathleen Rochin. Karen Rogers. Lydia Ann Sample. Amanda Sanders. Lori Sather. Tawny Smith. Rachel Stevens. Jeffrey Stewart. David Paul Strom. Mary Thompson. Stephen Toothman. Michael Tran. Tyler Trissel. Matthew West. Corey White. Garrett Windust. Shauna Zeller. Greg Jackson. Bachelor of Science in Communication. Garrett Condrier. Jeffrey Ernst. Ari Friedman. Jacob Harmon. Amy Lee Kolodzig. Kendall Larson. Dana Nisich. Haley Blackstone Nordurft. Jeannie Pelham. Kashivia Pointer. Beatriz Ramos. Marissa Rodriguez. Camilla Shamsut Denova. Andrea Smith. Larry White. 
Jessica Williams. Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice and Law Enforcement Administration. Ariana Armstrong. Sharla Ortega. Nathaniel Charles Serda. Sabrina Dodd. Caitlin Marie Dow. Kaylee Lane. Brian Larson. Teresa Littleford. Joshua Akpala. Richard Ortiz. Alan Rabb. Bachelor of Science in Healthcare Administration and Management. Amanda Apodaca. Marissa Armstrong. John Baldry. Marilyn Barron. Morgan Breedwell. Heather Burcott. Janae Camacho. Michelle Cobb. Dorothy Kawan. Bridget D. Cordial. Nicole Dixon. Jordan Comer Edseth. Destiny Ferreira. Yvette Foth. Christelle Friedland. Muran Gayed. Sandra Jangrenko Brown. Austin Grabil. Carol Hilton. Michaela Hoag. Rhonda Holcomb. Tyra Kelly. Brian Kerbs. Kara Kirsch. Julie Kuklanis. Patricia Cross. Lulu Lamb. Samantha Lee. Edith Lopez. Bulat Mederick Howard. Shannon Molarius. Kathleen Moulton. Hazel Nelson. Holly Nelson.
Dallas Nordyke. Christine A. Nuss. Jennifer Obazakai. Addis Lidis Paez. Samaria Powell. William Reed. Dion Reed. Julie Rhodes. Laura Robinson. Akiva Stern. Kaylee Summers. Christopher Swazer. Ifyoma Uzuagbado. Emily Whitcomb. Laura Wilson. Darla J. Wiley. Lori Zelaya. Bachelor of Science in Human Resource Management. Hannah Albrecht. Nicole Bolitsky. Jamie Bartlett. Amanda Bow. Crystal Ann Brozich. Ashley Byrne. Maling Caldwell. John Cartwright. Catherine Gonzalez. Joy Harp. Shannon Hoffman. Tiffany Melinda Orions. Corey Johnson Sr. Mary Johnson. Ariel Jones. Carol Kiorvested. Jennifer LaDuke. Danielle Malloy. Tracy Martin. Brianna Massomir. Marina Miller. Preston Miller. Jacob Miranda. Tanisha Nelson. Spencer Nicholas. Alexandria Parnell. Brittany Passer. Anthony Picot. Carolyn Quinones. Kathy Randstrom.
Wally Rivera Lopez. Lindsay Rosenquist. Stephanie Ross. John Rossini. Laura Shattuck. Ashley Sidebottom. Corey Snar. Amanda Sroka. Yari Straffen Anaya. Amy Stewart. Zaling Tao. Jennifer Turner. Delia Wagner. Jessica Welshko. Billy Joe Woods. Kimberly Zimmers. Bachelor of Science in Human Services. Kristen Conrad. Jacqueline Dersham. Canis Domingue. Sharita Ford. Elizabeth Garcia. Nikki Jones. Rachel Modlin. Christina O'Connor. Jennifer Patino. Lindsay Sheeran. Kenneth Smith, Sr. Elizabeth Wellman. Julia Winger. Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. Douglas Allman. Stephen Archuleta. Antonio Barta. Denver Baswell. Ashley Blair. Joel Bazio. Gregory Brooks. Anthony Brown. Sabrina Bruce. Peter Buckheister. Terry Cerny. Valerie Clark. Kayla Craig. Derek Dahlman. Timothy Deary. Brandon Duffer. Kyle Ely.
James W. George, Jr. Eric Ghosh. Adam Goss. Lane Grantham. Brittany Griffin. Zachary Guy. Cody Hergaden. Devin Harris. John Hendricks, Jr. John Huber. Paul Jondren. Samuel Cagbo. John Caton. Mean Katri. Keith Kirkland. Zachary Klecker. Kara Kuhn. Emmanuel Landa. Kalina Lewis. Amanda Lynch. Jonathan McCourt. Rosie Moon. Roman Nelson. William Pierce. Eric Pomerini. Nathan Rethman. Amanda Rico. James Roberts. Malik Saad. Maya Schmall. Patrick Schusler. Joseph Smith. Daniel Stockton. Karen Stouffer. James Tanku. Scott Vanderpaul. Calvin Vu. Anthony Walsh. Charler Williams. Lisette Williams Cedarleaf. Brenda Winterhalder. Taylor Cheek. Bachelor of Science in Management Information Systems and Business Analytics. Priscilla Adontang. Michael Davis. Patrick Duggan. Lane Fuel.
Parampreet Gill. Lamont Grissom. Austin Harris. Robert Harris. Benjamin Helson. Roxine Holt. Alan Kreutzer. Alicia Lamory. Alicia Lamare. Christina McCravey. Brian McKinnis. Ahmed Mustaba. Karma Parks. William Patrick the Fourth. McTricity Phillips. Sergey Pikulik. Mon Jalisa Saliba. Saista Schwabna. Cheryl Terhoon. Bachelor of Science in Marketing. Henry Adasso. Matthew Adkins. Jacob Albright. Michaela Barber. Megan Bragg. Mario Kabakang. Junior. Ryan Campbell. Elizabeth Council. Ying Deng. Tegan Drake. Wyatt Fielding. Nadia Hansia. Adam Lefevre. Gabriella Nathan Funk. Ashley Nidzewiki. Marilyn Orozco. Sarah Beth Colleen Panella. Karina Rodriguez. Tori Terrell. Anthony Undis. Andrew Waldo. Isaac Williams. Gwendolyn Winans. Kara Yoder. Bachelor of Science in Organizational Leadership. Yolanda Akins. Patricia M. Anderson. 
Sarah Armstead. Jennifer Aubrey. Rudy Avila. Ranielle Banks. Janice Beard. Pamela Bello. Jason Case. Cherie Castillo Archuleta. Malia Coleman. Robert Colette Jr. Carrie Cooey. Nidra Frazier. Sean Hall Sr. Ryan Hart. James Hartman. Jennifer Jackson. Christina Johnson. Michael Kiyopuiwa. Melinda Lomba. Amanda McClendon. Mark Milburn. Shannon Miller. Sapita Moseni. Sean Mount. Kyle Mueller. Jennifer Nershall. Ryan Ward. Brianne Woodell. Bachelor of Science in Project Management. Andrew Bell. Christina Boyd. George Boykin. Richard Chamberlain. Peter Chiapa. Julia Kraft. Chelsea Ferris. Thomas Garcia. Rachel Gomez. Andreen Hall. Patricia Hamilton. Blake Henry. Inger Hudson. Kendrick Jammer. Timothy Mazakua. Sarah Nelson.
Douglas Rob. Sylvia Rodriguez. Ryan Sutton. David A. Walker. Christopher Woods. Trevor Bixby. Bachelor of Science in Public Management. David Dooley. Clinton Rushing III. Congratulations to all of our undergraduate students. I want to especially call out Zhao Wen Lao, summa cum laude, and Tawny Smith, cum laude, for achieving honor distinctions that were either unfortunately omitted on the slides or unavailable at the time of grades or final degree conferral were still pending. Thank you for bringing these to our attention in the comments. If any other honors distinctions were missed or other errors were made, please accept our sincerest apologies. Please email commencement at ccglobal.edu with these or any other errors, and we'll get everything corrected in the program, and we'll do our best to acknowledge you by the end of the today's ceremony if others were made. Um, you should be very proud of your accomplishments, and congratulations once again. Now to give Eric and Lauren a very short break and for a glass of water, please enjoy this special video from our faculty congratulating all of the graduates before we continue to our master's degree program camp. Congratulations, graduates of 2018. This is a milestone and we are so proud of your major accomplishments and we wish you continued success. Hey, congratulations, everyone. This is Professor Bob Diemer. And my words of wisdom to you is, you know, stay excited about learning and where your education might take you in the years ahead. And don't be afraid to push yourself beyond what you think you are capable of doing or achieving. So enjoy this special day. And again, congratulations. Congratulations to our class of 2018 graduates. Working with you all has been so inspiring. I love hearing about your journeys and your goals. And I just wish you the best of luck in your journeys moving forward. Hello and congratulations 2018 CSU Global Class. I'm very proud of your accomplishments. I know you've got big goals and you're on your way. This is a step in that journey. It's a big step, but there are many more to come. Let's keep going. Let's keep pressing on. And I know good stuff will happen. Congratulations and good luck. Hi, everybody. I am Dr. Melanie Shaw, and I am here in New York City. I am thrilled to be able to celebrate with you and congratulate you on a job well done. Enjoy today. Your hard work and your excellent efforts paid off. It's truly a joy to be able to wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Congrats again. To the graduating class of the 2018 Colorado State University Global Family, I wish you the best. My name is Dr. Craig Bythewood, and I am the program chairperson for the Masters in Finance. Well, each and every one of you has made a wise decision to master your finances by successfully completing your degree. I wish you the best in all of your future endeavors. Congratulations to our 2018 graduates and especially our healthcare administration and management students. Very best wishes on your bright future and it's been an honor sharing courses with you. Congratulations. Hola, yo soy Dr. John Johnson. Yo quiero decir un gran felicidad graduación para todos aquí hoy. Happy graduation to all of you, my friends. Remember that as we teach you, we also learn. So thank you for bringing us to this stage in the journey and for the opportunity to celebrate with you. This is a wonderful accomplishment, and I hope you will celebrate it well. Well, happy graduation. Greetings, CSU Global Class of 2018. Congratulations on your accomplishments. You've launched your 
career into new directions. Your life will change from here. Explore the galaxy. Make this place, the world we live in, a better place. Come join me. See new adventures. Michael Skiba, Program Chair of Criminal Justice here. So to the class of 2018, congratulations. We are so proud of you and your accomplishments. Enjoy the day today and best of luck in your future professional endeavors. We're very, very proud of you. We will now recognize our master's degree candidates. As with our undergraduate students, names will be read in alphabetical order and by program. Please celebrate our graduates in the comments and on social media. We will now start with our graduates for our master's degree in criminal justice and law enforcement administration. Ryan Asituno. Carlisa House. Amanda McCool. David Ridge. Angela Swanson. Master of Finance. Christopher Bysance. Amanda Klassen. Kevin Close. Hugh Matheson Elamurgathis. David Garcia. David Martin. Timothy McDonald Jr. Casey Musselman. Jill Nelson. Katie Obermeyer. Jody Painter. Shane Paulson. Christopher Reed. Matthew Reidenauer. Christopher Seidel. Carly Thompson. Maria Wasilewski. Master of Healthcare Administration and Management. Alexandria Armitage. Evelyn Assuming. Christopher Autry. James Baker. Jessica Banks. Mitchell Baruti. Carrie Sanders Badoin. Sarah Botang. Scott Bogan. Caitlin Bookery. Nicole Brown. Rebecca Carpenter.
Stacy Carson. Sarah Conlon. Manuel Crespo Torres. Jeffrey Dews. Luis Diolazo. Madeline Dunn. Mohamed Fatemi. Bree Featheroff. Bailey Forrest. Tina Forrester. Christopher Garcia. Alexandria Ginzel. David Glenn Jr. Abby Hilton. Carl J. Heinemann. Patrick Irving. Anne Marie Karna. Morgan Kesselberg. Adam Klatskin. Amanda Croker. Paul Larson. Stephen Lassar. Christine Logan. Cynthia Malikski. Judy Malone. Crystal McCallie. Petrina McCallie. Michael Medlin. Mauricia Morris. Julie Ong. Robert Pringle, Jr. Lashini Samurai-Krim. Kate Cheyenne. Paul Shanaman. Danielle Small. Michael Saruki. Kristen Taganis. Christy Taylor. Nancy Thomas. Courtney Thomason. Jakidra Turner. Vignetta Tayagi. Cynthia Van. Jennifer Villanueva.
Giselle Zuniga. Master of Human Resource Management. Uzoma Ajogwu. Lisa Ara Isa. Carolyn Archibald. Crystal Black. Carrie Briley. Angela Brooks. Samantha Caputo. Jasmine Cook. Allie L. Fanton. Hannah Ferrarini. Maribel Guzman. Cynthia Hall. Jillian Heaton. Ashley Hockett. Samantha Husted. Jasmine Jones. Ronald Klein. Brianne Lambruno. Maria Masajewski. Nicole McLeod. Roberto Negrete. Katerini Nelson. Kylie Neald. Ross Overacker. Michelle Proctor Coleman. Jasana Perez. Caitlin Rocio. Joycelyn Rami. Adrienne Santos. Matthew Chuyasosopo. Yolanda Vela. Justin Wayman. Chastity Willis. Dana Hess. Danielle Ninfo. Master of Information Technology Management. Prachant Broadwell. David Buss. Michael Condon. Richard Demsey II. Shelley Estel. Paul Gillian. Esther Kim.
Michael de la, de la Montaigne. Don Lightfoot. Raja Mukherjee. Lakshmi Gurunath Prasad Murari. Tony Perkins. Ashok Swain. Sridhar Vishnapatla. John Yoakum. Master of International Management. Ariel Frey. Kyle Lee. Amber St. Aubin. Flavia Chibangu. Master of Professional Accounting. Lena Y. Al Asadi. Abdul Kader Ahmed. Noreen Ali. Lindy DeMarco. Patricia French. Catherine Gill. Kelly Green. Marlon John. Daisy Kessler. Becca Kung. Vonaphone Low. Ginger Lonergan. Austin Maddox. Kevin Marland. Khadija Mehta. Brenda Miller. Britt Newbel. Oksana Skopsau. David Strebeck. Olga Van Rees. Eric Walton. Destiny Weeding. Andrea Young Booth. Master of Project Management. Lori Cantalina. Tabitha DiCuto. Eileen Garza Avlanitis. Micah Hanks. Leslie Jackson. Christina Zavalia.
Jesse Knapp. Joshua Lashar. Kendra Ann Morris. Twee Van Lee. Kyle Levin. Taylor Pass. Caitlin Taro. Sarah Wallace. Zachary Williams. Sue York. Bryce Linen. Master of Science in Management. Michaela Bischoff. Serena Gonzalez. Kanita Hamilton. Leilani Kialoha. Sheila Mitotes. James Paladenic. Janae Perry. Chad Rock. Nicole Thompson. Prakash Bajacharya. Master of Science in Organizational Leadership. Kim Alexander. Dina Balbich. Willie Bible the Third. Melissa Blackford. Hardik Bora. Robert Brammer. Caitlin Burdick. Abigail Burt. Victor Calder Sr. William Corbin. Michael Cox. Sarah Dozal. And Angelia Elsie. Lisa Emmerman Lahue. Teresa Fendrick. Marianne Filgum. Roy Gilmore the third. Amber Henderson. Patrick Hermans. Albert Hinkle. Christine Hunt. Edna Hunter. Barry Jeter. Jill Crumpus. Candace Johnson.
Sarita Lundy. Kim Miles. Nigel Andre Mills. Diva Miranda Jones. Lisa Olson. Gabrielle Pitts. China Presley. Amy Quessenberry. Diana Rains. Megan Kristen Sampson. Marilyn Schaefer. Jamar Selvi. Evan Serpa. Michael Teague. Tiffany Trapp. Ashley Ulrich. Russellyn Walker. Amanda Wangler. Joel Williams. Stephen Warabell. Michelle Zeiser. Christine Zito. Master of Science in Teaching and Learning. Ferris Brooke Clayton. Christine Hadaway. Claire Hogue. Katrina McAllis. Renee Lindgren. Jane Smart. Heather Smith. Pamela Ford. Congratulations to all of our master's level graduates. And congratulations to Serena Gonzalez for earning a dual master's degree in management and organizational leadership that was unfortunately omitted. Additional honors to be recognized, William Huffman, cum laude, Sean Mount, magna cum laude, George Boykin, cum laude, Bailey Forrest, distinguished scholar, and Kaylee Craig and Christina Hathaway. Once again, our apologies for any errors on our part or if honors could not yet be confirmed at this time pending final degree conferral. You should be very proud of all of your hard work and, and all of your accomplishments. So now let me be the first to congratulate all of our graduates. I will turn this over to our president one last time, Dr. Becky Takeda Tinker, for the official conferring of our degrees. For those of you who have successfully completed your programs, by the authority vested in me by the Colorado State University System Board of Governors, I hereby confer upon each of you the recommended degree with all of its rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Congratulations. And now, family members, friends, and CSU Global staff and faculty, Please join me in recognizing the graduates of CSU Global Campus's Class of 2018. Well done. Congratulations to all of our graduates. I'm now excited to welcome in Christina Johnson from her viewing party. Christina, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Great. Well, welcome, Christina. Where are you watching from and who are you watching with? We are watching from Loveland, Colorado, and I'm watching with my husband and my three children. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> uh, what degree did you earn today? A Bachelor of Science in Organizational Leadership. Cool. Um, is there anyone that you'd especially like to thank for helping you get to this point today? 
I'd especially like to thank these guys right here for helping me and supporting me through this and the rest of my family and friends as well. We, we are hoping you can do one final thing for us. If you could please help us out by representing all of our graduates in the ceremonial moving of your tassel from right to left to officially signify that you and all of our graduates have earned their conferred degrees. Yes. Wonderful. Woohoo. Congratulations, Christine. Thank you. Thank you again for joining us today. It's been a real pleasure. Thank you very much. I'm now excited to introduce Lauren Galena to close out our ceremony and welcome you as our newest members of the Alumni Association. Thanks, Andy, and congratulations, graduates. What you gain from CSU Global doesn't stop after you complete your degree or certificate. The CSU Global Alumni Association offers benefits, resources, and programs to the more than 14,000 alumni worldwide. The Alumni Association is non-dues based, meaning you don't have to pay anything to join. There aren't any fees, and you don't have to pay for a membership. You are eligible to become a member upon conferral of your degree. Join the CSU Global Alumni Network at csuglobalalumni.network to easily access all alumni related resources and networking and mentoring opportunities. You can start taking advantage of all alumni benefits today. Also, if you're interested in purchasing a class of 2018 t-shirt, you or your family and friends, you can visit the school store at store.csuglobal.edu and enter code 2018grads for $10 off each shirt that you order. Once again, congratulations and welcome to the CSU Global Alumni Association. Thank you, Lauren. And thank you to you and Eric for all of your name reading. Uh, I don't know how you still have a voice after all of those names, but thank you very much. And congratulations once again to all our graduates. We are excited to welcome you as our newest alumni. And with that, our virtual ceremony will come to a conclusion. It was a, a fun adventure and thank you everyone for attending and we hope you enjoyed the celebration of this momentous milestone in your lives. Don't forget to keep using the hashtag, hashtag stepforward18 on social media. Congratulations once again and enjoy the rest of your day and your weekend.